Hey, what's up, coders? Welcome back to my channel. Today I have Sally. Thank you for being on my channel, Sally. Would you like to talk a bit about yourself? First of all, thank you for having me. Uh, my name is Sally Kinner. I'm a Berlin based Flutter Android developer. I work for a company called Fun Football. And I'm a Flutter and Dark GDE. I've been developing Flutter since alpha stages. So I've been there in all the stages and my love Flutter. Yeah. How did your journey start with Flutter? So I, w I used to work for an agency and we were part of an early access group. So we had a client that we were like asking for a nice beautiful app in short amount of time. Literally the <laughs> brand slogan. And since the company was part of the early access program, we just started to invest on Flutter. And my journey started like this. Then after last year's I.O., then I went even deeper. Yeah, that's it. I see that recently you became a GDE. Yes. So could you share your experience as to what you do on a daily basis? Yeah, I mean, to help the community and GD came alongside with it. So what I did was basically I went to the conferences, I traveled around the world, basically I flew to Japan to talk about Flutter, I had talks in uh, Stockholm, Berlin, Italy, whatever you call. And besides that I'm writing blog posts and I'm creating some open source projects and yeah that's what like if you contribute to the project and contribute to the community, help the others and do everything that you think that is the right thing to do for the community, I think GD comes alongside with it. I didn't do it for that and it came for me. Your views on state management? Yeah, <laughs> it's a hot topic. I mean, for me, I always say the same thing. Use the one that is suitable for you. Do not confuse yourself with things like, okay, I have a simple app, but I need to do block. No, I mean, if the stateful widget is answered to your question, do the stateful widget. Like, if your state is encapsulated, just do stateful widget. If, it, if it's bigger and getting bigger, and if you're a beginner, just do scope on the road. Today they announced providers, just do providers. They are, but if you're sure about your skills, you know it better, and your app is suitable for that, block is also an option. It's, always there. So the answer to this is use the one that is suitable for you. And your thoughts for Flutter for Web? It's amazing. I'm super excited. I'm I'm looking forward to go back home and just play around with it because it's it's brought, like it's it's a game changing announcement because everything had mobile so far. First we had the desktop, now we have the web and it's it's crazy that it's crazy that we are basically ruling all the platforms right now. Are you working on any Flutter project currently that you would like to discuss? Unfortunately, right now, no. I am, I am doing some side works, but besides that, as a project, unfortunately, I don't. I, right now, I right now I'm plan like I had a kickoff with a project called let's say Flutter Cube. It's a platform that I'm planning to collect all the Flutter videos from YouTube and Vimeo. Uh, it will be a website and app. So that is the one that I'm working on right now as a side project, but I think it will take some time because I'm swamped. <laughs> uh, did you cross any challenging feature? The thing is, when I started, as I said, we didn't have all the plugins and all the fancy stuff that we had before. So especially when we were doing a project called Coach Yourself, we had hard times to implement Alarm Manager because we, like, this required extra attention and we didn't have the things that we needed before so we needed to talk to the Flutter team once in a while and we needed to implement it by ourselves and that was challenging because I was only an Android developer and we needed, we needed an iOS developer so it required some time. Your top three do's and don'ts for Flutter developer, that is who's just starting up. Okay, first of all, uh, don't is don't be overwhelmed by the community and like don't try to learn everything at once and don't overcomplicate stuff. Do help the others. Another do is definitely definitely participate to the events because there are cool people there. And last do is do not lose your faith in Flutter. <laughs> 
Thanks, Sahel. Thanks for being on my channel. And uh, please do follow him. And I'm going to add all your uh, networking details in my video description. Yeah, thank Thanks you. for being on my channel again. Thank you for having me. Thank you.